<laughs> it, was, it went a long time without a wet side. We like it that way. We kept them. Uh, that, that was some of the best that we played, just in terms of playing the right way and moving pucks and getting them in behind their D. And they continued to have to break out, and then we would just put it back in behind them. And uh, we, that's the way we want to play. We want to be a four track and team and playing downhill. So the way we played there in the third, after we got you know a bigger lead, was was the way that we want to play all the time. We didn't give up really anything there in the third period. Uh, Army uh, getting more comfortable with the slightly smaller rink and the uh, just his, his competent game here. Yeah, it's it's a work in progress. I think he, he's still you know habits are hard to break and he's played on a big sheet for a long time. And I think he, he's playing a little bit. Um, his habit is to play a lot of one on one, and at this level, guys are good enough and the rink is small enough where there's not a lot of space there. So he's got to play a little bit more give and go, use the other guys in his mind a little bit better. And then understand that there's times where you just got to give the puck up and, and get it deep and go forward check it. So, uh, but he's he's been getting better. He continues to get better. He's got a great skill level. And he gets to go back in the larger race for Spengler. Yeah, exactly. So uh, he'll, he'll probably enjoy that. And then we'll have to try to force him to play quicker in the smaller rink once he gets back. So. Did you uh, try to convince anybody to keep McNabb here with you? <laughs> no, we haven't made that call yet. He, he, uh, they were pretty specific. He was going back. Um, so, and he's, he deserves it. I'm happy for him. Both him and Luke uh, did a great job here. And you, know, you want guys to play at that level. That's what we're here for. And as much as it hurts us losing him, uh, he deserves that opportunity. And I think you're going to see him get more opportunity as, as things unfold there. Have you got an opportunity to watch any of his games playing up there? Yes. Uh, yeah. Any, any differences that you've seen kind of how he's, how he's approaching it? I think um, you know it's always different when you play up there because you play you play a little bit more conservative no matter who you are. Um, I, I think that he plays the same type of game except for he's not asked or his responsibility isn't as much the offensive side of things. So he doesn't get involved as much in the offense. He's not necessarily on a power play up there. He doesn't get that kind of time. We play him in every situation here, so it's a different game. Uh, and, and eventually he's going to have that role at the National League level as far as I'm concerned. Um, but I, I've watched his games and I think he's been a really good puck mover up there. Uh, he, he seems that good things happen when he's out on the ice and uh, hopefully he can t continue to do that. Was it your decision or was it up to Ruido if he was going to play tonight? It, it was, well, it was a medical decision. He had to be cleared okay. from the doctors and then then it's my decision. <laughs> <laughs> on uh, Porter's first goal, it's kind of like a, what do you call that, like a Hail Mary sort of yeah. pass. I mean, is that, I haven't seen a ton of that. Is that something that was different that uh, you do? Is it kind of a game plan sort of thing to, to toss it up in the air and hope to get a bounce there? Yeah, well, when you're playing against a team like you, I think they're, for us anyways, they're one of the strongest four check teams that we play against. They seem to be on top of us all the time. Um, so we, we try to break their four check by playing over the top on them, whether it's off the glass or just a high flip, and we've got good speed up front. We want to try to beat them in the foot races, and that's what Kevin's best at, is getting the loose pucks and, and using the speed to get in behind, and, and then it was a great finish, obviously, from there. So, yeah, that's something that we do try to do, especially teams that really four check hard like that. Chris got a nine-hour bus ride tonight to Grand Rapids, and then two games back-to-back -back, uh, out, out there. So what's going to be the... You know the, the the planning for that being that they're one of the better teams in the league. Yeah. Also. Well, we'll uh, you know we'll get a practice in tomorrow and start getting refocused on on what they're going to do. They're they're rolling right now. I mean they're really playing well. I think they they beat Texas for two. I think last weekend um, in, in their defending Calder Cup champions. We know what they did to, to us on opening night. Um, and you know they they've had some injuries in Detroit, so they've lost a couple guys up. But they're going to be a really deep team. They're probably the deepest team in the league that I've seen. We've watched them on tape, and um, they're going to roll four lines at you, and every one of them can score. So we've got to play really tight defensively, and um, we're going to need to be really good on special teams to to, to win those games. So hopefully uh, we can step up and do that. Larson says. Uh, day to day, he's feeling a lot better tonight, and uh, you know, hopefully we can get him on the ice tomorrow. Uh, depending on he the bus ride, he's hurt. He's hurt upper body, um, and it's it's day to day. So we're hoping for the weekend. Jerome, uh, healthy. Message or just rotating or. <laughs> so what? I can't. I can't record this smile. Right now. <laughs> Uh, that's, uh, that's it, right?